What's up guys? Welcome back to your favorite alien ass kicking show on YouTube. And today the video you all have been waiting for. The next generation of crossbow is right here in our hands. It's the self-cocking foldable steam bow. In this setup here this amazing bow has 280 pounds of draw weight and it fires the bolt with an amazing 400 feet per second. Now it's time to test the steam bow Bulldog 400. And never forget the most important thing when dealing with crossbows. If Mr. Safety Catch is not on, Mr. Crossbow is not your friend. A steam bow is powered by high pressure air that is stored in the same small light HPA tanks that have been used and proven in paintball for decades. You can cock the limbs almost silently within one second. When you relax the limbs after firing, a quiet hissing can be heard as the air escapes. You decide when to cock the limbs, ideally just before firing. This precludes many dangerous situations. The automatic cocking function allows you to cock the steam bow without effort in any orientation and position, including in tight tree stands. Many of you will ask you right now, is it worse to have such a high weight directly in the front? And I have to be honest, it can be a little bit of a downside, but this little device here is one of the best safety features I've ever seen on a crossbow. Especially in a hunting situation where you have to climb trees or do something like that. You climb the tree and your crossbow is not cocked at all. When you in your shooting stand, when you're in position, you just have to press this little red button here. And ready you are. With this bottle here, you can cock it up to five times. And also, when you leave your stand, you don't have to worry about de-arming the crossbow. So, just pull on the button and you're perfectly safe to go. So now it's time to test the crossbow against some solo cups filled with fake blood and flour. Just for fun. Good. So next up we are using a broadhead against this human skull just to see how much damage it can do to real bone. So, as you can see, the exit wound is pretty devastating. It broke the whole skull into pieces. The whole brain is pouring out. So, it would definitely be very deadly. Good. Äh, nein, ich da keine nicht zu Ich brauch irgendwo Flüssigkeit. Geht eben wieder aus. Weil er uns das Ende trennt, oder? Nichts damit. Wo ist der Ende? Nein, ich will es nicht 
Ja, das ist da drauf, oder? Ja, da brennt er wohl da noch. Warum ich die Elenko von nicht? So, als Alternative dazu, dass wir jetzt immer gelöscht hat, sind wir jetzt einfach in Wald. And now it's finally time to test the effectiveness of the Steambow Bulldog 400 against an alien. At first we're trying the field tip and then three different kinds of broadheads. Basically you will do no real damage with a field tip to the inner organs, but this arrow has penetrated the skull right here in this position and embedded itself until here in the earth beneath. The tip hit the stone, it's broken off a little bit and I think this shows the amazing power of this crossbow. But in the real world you can't use the arrow twice. Due to the toxic blood of the alien it's most likely that it just disintegrate. But with a well-placed shot like this you don't have to use the arrow a second time because this sucker is dead. Let's make the alien shut up. So, the alien's head worked basically like a German tank. It just deflected the arrow. It did a little bit of damage, it cut off a bit of the skin. But, not really. It wouldn't hurt the alien. And the arrow is dead. Get. It went, yeah, it went yeah, through yeah. the whole head. It went through the whole head. Oh, so what so the fuck is this? There is egg one, and through this, yeah, it's the off head and has it on the other Guck it on the other side. Like with any other projectile, this was kind of the perfect shot. The arrow has penetrated the skull in the front and was deflected by the form of the skull on the inside. So it went out here. It basically destroyed the whole brain capacity of the alien and now for sure he's real 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 death. Here is the entry wound. I'm spread the wound channel. Channel? Yeah, I'm, spread I'm, spr the channel. I'm spreading the wound channel, baby. Here you can see the entry wound. good. Yeah, spread it, baby. I rip off your skin, bitch. <laughs> At the exit wound you can perfectly see the cuts of the razor sharp tip and it broke through the bone. Awesome. Okay guys, to make one thing clear, a distant shot like this maybe around 80-90 yards will never work because you will be not able to see the alien on such a distance. But if you see him, we are going to try out the effectiveness of the Steambow at 80, 85, 90 yards against the alien with a field tip. Wish me luck. Bereit? First shot missed it about five inches on the top. So we now have sighted in. Let's take another try. Ready! I think we hit it. Now we have officially measured the distance, it was about 83 yards and you can see even 
at this long range the effectiveness it have drove the arrow through the neck of the alien and really good shot after all even the flights of the arrow were damaged before so I had a little bit of a concern that it will not fry in a straight line but it did and don't know if he's dead now but it sure was fun Just for you, Brandon Herrera, Kurt Cobain style, money shot. Ready? Ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Alien Gaboom. Please subscribe to us and hit the notification bell. And we have to say special thanks to all of you guys. Because of you watching our videos, it's possible for us to buy awesome stuff like this bow. And also thanks to Steambow for the really good shipping and they are really nice guys, friendly guys. Check them out. So join our channel guys for more epic alien kills. We see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned.